One of the last things that you want to experience on your vegan diet meal plan are deficiencies. So let's talk about preventing them in our video today. Let's get started. Hi there, it's Paul and Yulia Tarbath here, nutritionists and lifestyle coaches at Rawson Healthy, helping you create the health and body of your dreams. Now, before we get started today, make sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure to press that bell notification so you always stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, there are many reasons why people choose to switch to a vegan lifestyle plan. The majority of our clients want to do it because they want to experience healthy hormones, healthy gut, healthy body, and obviously they want to do it for the environment. They just, they're just not interested in eating antibiotics and all uh, toxins that are in the meat and also all the challenges like high cholesterol and inflammation in the body that it can result in. So switching to a vegan meal plan is a great next step to take. But then how do you make sure that you don't become deficient on this plan? So let's be honest, the majority of people on a standard Western diet don't know anything about nutrition. So when they move over to a, a vegan diet, for example, they just replace like for like. So you've got a, a standard beef burger and they'll replace it with a vegan beef burger. That you buy in your local exactly. supermarket. Or a local, sure. you know, standard pizza on a, a standard diet and they, you know, replace that with a vegan pizza from the supermarket or whatever they get it from. And they replace all these different foods. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get the same nutrition from those foods because they replace them like for like. You know, some of these foods can be deficient and then they run into problems with their, you know, nutrition levels. And if they've got hormonal imbalances or you've got gut problems like IBS or candida overgrowth, for example, then they can really run into issues with their, with their health and then wonder why, you know, why they, they run into these issues and find out that they're actually deficient on a vegan diet. If you are switching to a vegan lifestyle plan and you've got Hashimoto's or thyroid imbalances or PCOS, you want to boost your fertility or perhaps you've got IBS, Candida, you need to know how to make this plan work for you so it allows you to restore your health and it also gives your body the nutrients you need so you don't become uh, an underweight, weak vegan. Now we've been on a high raw whole foods vegan diet now for 11 years. 11 years. 11 years, you know, so quite a long time, over a decade. Loved every moment. Of time. And what we've learned from um, over the years from doing this is that, you know, you really need to pay attention to your nutrition. And that certainly goes on a vegan diet as well, because if you don't, it's very easy to run into roadblocks and then run into problems with your hormones or your gut health or other aspects of your health, and your energy yeah. levels and things because you get deficient in something. So you've really got to pay attention and know what you're doing. Yeah, so for example, if you've been eating a lot of animal products and processed food and you're switching to salads with carrots and lettuce and three cucumber slices, then you need to be aware of calories. Yes, you, you need to get enough calories on this lifestyle. If you're switching to whole foods, plant foods lifestyle that is really high in fresh produce, high in fruits and veggies, you need to make sure that you're eating enough to meet your caloric needs. Otherwise, you won't feel energy. You will not be able to exercise. You will start making conclusions that the vegan diet doesn't work for you and makes you weak and it just doesn't, you know, doesn't serve you. Plus, there are nutrients. So let's talk about calcium, for example. Yeah, this it's, is a, an important one to talk about. So you get calcium in many different foods. Some foods have got more calcium than others. And then also some foods have substances in them that block the uptake of minerals and uptake of calcium into your body. So knowing all of these things is really important. So not only do you balance your diet, you don't just eat healthy food, you balance your diet of healthy foods, but you also eat the kinds of foods that are gonna give you or get the ability to give you those nutrients that you're looking for, and not the kinds of foods that are actually gonna interfere or block you from getting so those nutrients. So what would be the example of those foods? Well, for example, if you're eating lots, lots of, of high, yeah, yeah, lots of high oxalate foods, for example, if you think, right, I'm gonna eat lots of leafy greens, have lots of smoothies, smoothies with leafy greens and all that. Bag salads. of spinach a day. Exactly, and... have a bag of spinach every day, or lots of Swiss char, for example, and things like this and you have basically those all the time, well then you can run into problems because yeah, they've got lots of minerals in them and lots of other goodies, but the problem is that you're not gonna be getting a lot of those minerals because they're bound up with things called oxalates. Yeah. So they just hang on to them, they pass through your body and you don't absorb them. And then 
you can start running into problems. And we know we need calcium for things like our bone health, for our health of our teeth, for example. So it's really important to make sure that you're eating the right foods that are not high in oxalates, for example, in this case. So you're getting that nutrition, you're getting that calcium that your body needs. Absolutely. Vitamin B12, that's, that, that's one you'll need to supplement with because there is no B12 in plant foods so you'll need to supplement with vitamin b12 to keep on top of your b12 levels and then there come ratios if if let's say you have hormonal imbalances let's say you have estrogen dominance for example and thyroid imbalances and you switch to a high fat vegan diet you eat lots of fat well that can compromise your hormonal health even further so instead of getting better you you might you feel lighter in your in your mind in your brain but you're actually not going to be getting on top of your health issues for example a current client we work with she's been on the raw foods lifestyle for many years and uh, she's got really high Hashimoto's antibodies really unbalanced thyroid why is that well because of of the plan that was not balanced to be able to address a specific concern so when it comes to carbohydrates protein and fat it's really high carbohydrate diet, so 80% of your carbohydrates, and then about 10% from protein and 10% from fat. And you do need to consume enough protein. Yeah, so it's important. If you are eating fruits and greens and some you know, nuts and seeds, you do need to pay attention to your protein intake as well. And did you know that in a vegan diet, you can also have inflammation in your body happening? Yeah, because... which is, I, I know you, you will think, what? <laughs> Why? Yeah, absolutely. You think, because wow. it's unbalanced. Yeah, you know? exactly. You think, oh, a vegan diet, then it's got to be healthy. But that's not the case necessarily. And if you're having a lot of omega-6 in your diet, for example, um, and that's out of balance with omega-3, and that... You're eating really lots of nuts, lots of ratio. seeds, lots of oils. Lots of oils in your diet. Lots of avocado. That'll be too much fat. It'd be causing inflammation in your body, too much omega-6. And then that can lead to all sorts of different things happening in your body. So that's really important to understand as well. Omega-3 and 6 balance the right ratio and keeping your diet low in fat as well. So the bottom line is this. Yes, a vegan lifestyle plan provides you with nutrients and it's been scientifically shown to help you reverse hormonal imbalances like prevent thyroid imbalances, even, even reverse thyroid imbalances, address autoimmune diseases and help you rebuild the health of your gut. But you must do it in a very educated way, in a way that will work for you and in a way that will help you reverse your specific health challenges. So you're not bumping into problems, blaming the vegan type and it can be literally the best lifestyle you'll ever be leading in this life and enjoying vibrancy and health and reaping the rewards and having balanced hormones and smooth and efficient digestion. It's all possible, but you need to make sure that you balance your lifestyle plan. And to help you with that, we've created a five-step masterclass so you can help you balance your hormones, balance your gut health, lose between 10 and 50 pounds of excess weight naturally. Without carbohydrate restriction. Without carbohydrate restriction, then follow the link at www.rawsomehealthy.com forward slash webinar. And grab your spot. So register for the masterclass. It's free. Watch it and it will help you apply this lifestyle in the right way. Thank you so much for joining us Thank for you. this video. Enjoyed having you here. And we're going to link it to another video. We will share a typical day in our life on this lifestyle. See you there. Bye.